Hey YouTube family, James Green. More short series shenanigans. Gonna be a quick video today. I know I hadn't showed stuff like this on my channel, so something new and exciting here. So, what we've got, and I've got the air conditioner running over here and the fan behind me. So, as you guys know, my camera picks up all the noise, which is great, so everyone can hear. So, what we've got, and I've already taken the screws off the top, this is for a pipe die for a rigid, you know, it'll go on a rigid, uh, well, that's the name brand of it. Anyway, this is inch and a quarter. I've got all the sizes. Um, this one I did not have. My dad actually had the others, so I found one on eBay, and it had damaged teeth, and I knew that. Not a big deal for what it was. So I had all the sizes except inch and a quarter and uh, I've got all my stuff. Anyway, just a real quick, so in case you guys want to replace dies on here, these teeth, you can actually order them. They're not that expensive. You know, you can pick these up if they're damaged or whatever, that's fine. Um, I picked these up online, and uh, these are actually made in the U.S. Picked them up on eBay. All right, now, the thing to note about them is, and I've already pulled the, the uh, screws off and uh, just took a wire brush and scrubbed the top of this. But one thing to note so everybody realizes, and I will show you, so when you go to pull this off, if you will look, they are actually numbered one, two, three, and four because it's a progressive die setup. So it's pretty dummy proof. Rigid was really smart about um, uh, when they made these. So, I'm just going to show you real basic, quick, simple, again. Don't know if this is out there on YouTube, but I thought, hey, let's do a quick video. Why? Just because. So, make sure the air's not blowing on the camera or anything. we get you back in frame here. Alright, and we're just going to put this in. Typically what you'll have is you've got these four screws here, and you just have to go in and clean out the gunk and stuff that's in there. Not too difficult. But uh, once you get them out, you can see they're actually marked, the factory ones. And you can get rigid name brand ones. Now, if you're doing this all day, every day, and this is the tool to make your money, um, yeah, the ones that say rigid, they're going to cost a lot. From personal experience, I've used whatever name brand, and they last just as long. So. You know, we can go ahead and pull them all out here. Matter of fact, let me get you guys a good angle over here so you can look right over my shoulder. Actually, sorry. Let me get it where you guys can look right down on what I'm doing here. I'm still trying to figure out new angles on where to put the camera in the shop now that I've re redone everything. So, get you guys zoomed in here so you can see what's going on. All right. There we go. All right. So we went in, as soon as we got the lid off, you know, we want to brush everything down with a, a wire brush. Just get the gunk out, you know. Doesn't have to be spotless, just make sure there's no debris in there. We'll go ahead and pull them all out. Some of, some of them may come out easy, some may not. But what you can do is get under the front here, because we are going to be replacing these, and you replace them as a set. And you can see the, uh, broken parts here where they're uh, hardened steel they're chipped a little bit of, oh, sorry chipped a little bit out of the back right along here you can see they're busted right there okay so we just come in here I'm not going to try and save and just replace the one that's broke you replace them as a set now now that we've got them out just a simple blast of air it and now we can see where they are marked now ever if you take one of these apart and they are not marked which every one of these made by rigid that I have ever taken apart are marked one two three and four now there are other brands out there that look exactly like this that don't have the rigid brain brand name on it okay um, 
if you take it apart and you do not see one, two, three, four on it, go ahead and mark it however you desire. Just be careful not to cause any damage to the castings. Very simple. All your new ones, which a set of these is about 15 to 20 bucks. Like I said, you can buy the rigid brand name ones and spend ungodly amounts of money, but they work just as good. All right. Now, on them, on the corresponding area here, they are marked two. So let's go ahead and find slot two. Slide it down in there. And there's one. There we go. Because they should go down and register against the back. Okay. And here's four. Okay, and here is three. So as long as that's how they register, they set in there, they've got a little mark, and what also helps them register is how these are set up. So you can uh, line them up with the holes. Now if you notice, you're like, oh wait a minute, it doesn't fit. Oh, there we go, slide it over a little bit. And you can actually, this will rotate, any direction so we can take it even spin this here and it's going to fit okay this cap you can rotate this cap any direction okay now there's going to be a little movement and give in there and that's fine once they start cutting they're going to press against the back and they're going to seat and that's how they so as long as we've got them in their assigned positions one two three, four, everything's good to go. We can put this on, it'll line up, tap it down, start your screws, and there you go. Yeah, my dad had the other inch and a quarter ones out at the ranch and at his house, and so I thought, rather than deprive dad of the other ones which i don't use this size very often but it was like okay so between the used pipe die here and the new dies i have probably forty dollars in this um, which is which is good that's average you know so now i can cut inch and a quarter pipe with my threader here because it's it'll it's tapered it's a tapered uh, thread there we go because I had a project recently where I could not find an inch to quarter deal anyway it worked out in the end so there you go I hope it's been useful again these are uh, just some really high grade carbide teeth they're not good for anything else, I suppose, if you wanted to. You could uh, grind this into a tool and put it on something. But what I'm going to do is put them over in my carbide scrap bucket. Because, uh, you know, save that stuff up and turn it in one of these days. So there you go. They will all, let me get them in order here. And I'll show you though, where they're marked on the ends. them lined up here sorry about that okay again you can see they are in order one two three four and then again you can see where they were uh, fractured out I'll put them up there so the camera will focus you can see where the one set here on the uh, or that end there but uh, don't just replace the broken one and keep the others because I've seen people do that well I'll just replace the broken one and hold on to the others well they're all in a set because they progressively work make sure you get them in proper order they are marked one two three four and there's even larger setups that require six dies um, we used to have one of those 
that had the big, they were like, I want to say half inch or five eighths by five eighths by a real long, you know, and you could adjust them in and out for whatever. It was for like four inch and up to like 12 inch threading it was a big giant threader, but uh, you replace them as a set. Don't do individual. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know why? Because then you'll have one good one and the other ones won't be as sharp. Could cause you to break your new one or your other ones. So, you know what? Change them out in pairs. They're not that expensive. So, hopefully this has been kind of a neat, cool, just in case you didn't know. Or if you ever run across one of these at a yard sale. And you're like, hey, you've got the other tooling and there's a certain size. Uh, you can actually get them online. Like I said, I believe these were like $15 shipped or whatever. And if you're just doing the weekend warrior you need to thread some pipe or whatever, hey, you know what? If running these all day every day, I know we could run, you know, as long as you keep the oil running to them, I mean, I'd, I'd run a set of these for a couple of years, two, three years. Uh, running boatloads of half inch and three quarter and one inch and every once in a while you get one that would snap but pipe is really really soft so there you go hopefully it's been useful and I hope you guys enjoy love my magnetic trays Oop, there we go handy to have there you go hope you guys have enjoyed it lots of neat stuff going on we're slowly filtering through everything here and uh, another project done. On to the next. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Click the like button down at the bottom. Spread the word about my channel. More neat stuff to come. You guys be safe out there. My public email address if you guys have any questions. EagleDustOff37 at gmail.com or message me through Facebook and I will get back to you. Or, well, Facebook or YouTube, whatever. I'll get back to you. Talk to you guys later. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.